mile in fog patches and showers early Friday, but improving to greater than six miles on Friday morning. Stars shining bright above. University of Massachusetts Lowell, led by the Chancellor, medal winner, and graduate student speaker. Now entering the doctoral candidates. Entering members of the UMass Lowell faculty, led by Chief Faculty Marshal Christopher Carl Smith. Their robes are a sea of color and represent all of the institutions from which they graduated. And now, Provost Hartman will lead the Chancellor's party to the stage. The first members of the procession are the college deans, vice chancellors, cabinet members, trustees, political representatives, and distinguished guests. Finally, the mace bearer 
our new president of the faculty senate, associate teaching professor Kevin Peterson, escorts Chancellor Maloney. And with that, the commencement celebrating the class of 2022 will be called to order. As the, as the provost of the University of Massachusetts Lowell, I hereby declare this meeting is in order. Good morning, everyone. My name is Patty McCafferty. I am the Senior Vice Chancellor for University Relations. It is my distinct pleasure to welcome you all to our 31st University of Massachusetts Lowell commencement ceremony and the first time in three years since we've all been together in person to celebrate our graduates. Uh, I now welcome Mazash Bungu, who is a doctoral candidate in Global Studies. Mazash will deliver the student address on behalf of the graduating class. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Mazash Bungu, and today I am humbled to be graduating in the Global Studies PhD program. Briefly, let me share with you part of my history. When I was about 12 years old, civil war came to my town in the Republic of the Congo. Then we were forced to flee and live in the forest for over a year without, yes, without any decent food or shelter. But through all of this, I held tight to my dream to complete my schooling and to be the first in my family to attend college. These past two years of COVID-19 pandemic have tested us in more than one way. They have been paved with uncertainties, unbelievable challenges because the world was falling apart around us. As the world was shifting, Yuma's Lowell became a space that kept hopes and dreams alive. Congratulations, class of 2022. Thank you. What a joy to be able to be back here in the Songhas together in person. We made it. We made it. And we are so proud of you, our graduates who are gathered here today for all that you have accomplished we know that it has been a long and extended journey for many of you, so we're going to ask you, our class of 2022, to please stand for all of you who can so that we can give you the round of applause that you so deserve. Congratulations to the class of 2022. And while you are standing there, I know that you in turn will want to thank all of your loved ones, 
your family and friends who were there for you when you needed them most. Please join me in thanking all of these wonderful people in the audience who helped you to get to where you are today. We now have the honor to present candidates who have satisfied all requirements for doctoral degrees. At this time, each dean will present the candidates from his or her college. Out of respect for all graduates who have worked so hard to earn their degrees, we request that all graduates and family members remain seated until the conclusion of the ceremony. Associate Dean Agara will present the candidates from the Francis College of Engineering. Good morning. Thank you, Provost Hartman. On behalf of the faculty of the Francis College of Engineering, I am pleased to present the candidates for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. Will doctoral candidates from Francis College of Engineering please approach the stage? And faculty advisors, Please move to the front of the stage and prepare to hood your candidates. As your name is called, I will present you with your diploma. Honor Barut. Chiruti Dejmuk. Rasul Elahe Chugba Jaren Gokunlan Barut J. Q. Na Leo Ashley Lauren Polanco I hereby declare this meeting is adjourned <laughs>